it's it's me and today I'm going to show you farm core and cottage core resource packs that you absolutely need for your Minecraft farm. Some of them require Optifine but I prepared a bunch of non-Optifine packs as well so let's jump right into it. So the first pack is called Bountiful Crops and it makes your crops look so cute and chunky. It works for potatoes, carrots, beets and it also makes wheat a little taller. And I absolutely love what you can do now with the wheat fields. Your farm is going to look amazing, trust me. So the next pack is called Better Crops and as you can see it's a small enhancement. The crops are a bit chunkier than usual, but not as chunky as with Bountiful Crops and I feel like it's a good vanilla match. It also works for pumpkins and melons and I feel like it's giving very core vibes. I mean, I can totally imagine Cinderella's house with this pumpkin texture. This pack also enhances wheat and makes it even taller than the previous pack, which I absolutely adore. Invisible. And now exploring the wheat fields can feel so realistic. It looks absolutely amazing. So this resource pack is actually called Get Flower. It just adds little flowers on top of the vanilla crops of potatoes. And this is pretty much it. It's not a really big change, but I found it cute. So I wanted to show it to you. Another stunning pack from one of my favorite creators, Ikuyuk. And this one is called Ikuyuk's Botanic Collection. It doesn't require Optifine at all. And it changes flowers texture to super beautiful models. For example, Allium is right now lavender and it actually inspired me so much to create a lavender cottage. As you can see, it also works for pots and you can actually pick what flowers you want to replace. For example, you can only pick lavender, but there's also a bundle that changes all of the flowers, which I found super useful. It's an absolutely amazing pack and yeah, now you can paint beautiful lavender fields in Minecraft. When it comes to this easel, it is from Ghoulcraft CAT and this picnic set is from Hananacraft CAT, which I covered in my previous video. And the rest of the clutter items are from Mizuno CAT. Next up, we have another pack from Ikuyuk, and for this one, I went ahead and made the field a little bit bigger because every farmer needs a proper straw hat, am I right? There's actually a lot of hats, so let me show you my favorite ones. There are all types of cats and there's also an ocelot. There's lots of berries for you guys and this one is giving me the OG strawberry shortcake. I don't know, but let me show you my favorite one. Introducing the beret. <laughs> Honestly though, I wish this one was a part of my Minecraft skin. And now moving on to another pack that I instantly fell in love with. This texture pack replaces chickens with ducks. So yeah, now you can make super cute duck ponds on your farm. And what's cool about it is that this pack, one, doesn't require Optifine, two, replaces the chicken noises with quacks, three, it changes all the chicken related items to duck related items, which is a great touch. And let me show you this little baby dog. Oh my gosh. So cute. I am honestly obsessed. And moving on, we have a super adorable cowrie texture. This pack is called Milk Cows, I believe. And no wonder, because something this beautiful you just must protect, okay? Look at this cow. Look at it. Look at the eyes, it's so pretty. Oh my gosh. And if you're a fan of this kind of aesthetic, more on the cuter side, I'd say, then I also found a matching pack for sheep and you cannot tell me it is not cute. Look at this sheep. <laughs> I feel like it goes along so well with this previous cow pack. It just, it's really good. Your farm is gonna look so good. I absolutely love the little sheep tails too. And you know what would look amazing with this sheep heart? The sheep dog, yes. This pack does require Optifine. It's a CAT pack. If you want to find out more about CAT packs and how to use them, you can watch this video. There are lots of breeds to choose from, including Corgi, Shih Tzu, Shiba Inu, Saint Bernard, and even Pomeranian. Another great addition to your farm would be these fat cats. It's just so cute. I love when everything is chunky, chunky veggies, chunky animals, just so cute. So you might already know this pack because it's quite popular, 
But I also wanted to show you that there is also a pack for fat foxes. Oh my gosh, how adorable is that? Another great addition for your farm would be these Beckett enhancements. It retextures all of the Beckett's and gives them this 3D look, which I love. And now you can pretend that you are carrying water and it's just more realistic. And the powder snow looks exactly like milk jars. It's just so cute. And it just gives you so many possibilities for creative, realistic scenarios on your farm. Another must-have pack that I've been using for a while now is called Improved Fences and it retextures fences to look more realistic. And I really love this pack because it really gives more of a rustic feeling to your builds. And for example, I really love how the Acacia one looks like. It's a little bit pale, it matches Mizuno's texture and it just looks a little bit older, you know? Overall, really great and looks amazing with all of the cottagecore builds. So now you're officially ready to build the farm of your dreams. And if you want to see more resource packs I recommend, then check out this video and I'll see you there. Thank you all so much for watching and bye-bye.